That's for one single Predator carburetor, right there. We're gonna go over to the runners. So these are the aluminum runners that I've already made. Basically, this is a two inch by two inch square hole for the nail heads. They only have a quarter inch space between uh, the two and three, four and five. So we have to Siamese the pipes together. I was going to use square tube. It would probably be a lot easier with square tube because two inch square tube, um, eighth inch wall is uh, perfect and it would have been really nice. But being squared does not equal good adequate airflow and atomization. So I chose a two inch out diameter 14 gauge aluminum T6061 aluminum or T6 aluminum. Uh, by doing that I'm losing about one eighth of an inch on all four corners so I have to fill this in heavy with weld on the corners. So that's gonna be good. We can handle that. By the way those are uh, half inch thick. So we're gonna cut all the tubes right here about six inches, put them on a 45 degree plane and then knock the tops off so I can weld the box right on and then the carburetor will be sitting. The intake manifold uh, with the um, air cleaner sits right about the same height as this, the bottom of the windshield. So it'll be like right there. It's, uh, it's pretty wild, it's pretty wild, okay? So that's the second video right there. Runners, intake manifold box for a Predator carburetor. Fully sheet metal, TIG welded, aluminum. Have a good day.